okay everyone in this session we will be studying or discussing about the classical theory of specific heat so here we will uh, very briefly we will not go into details of the calculations we will mainly have a just important results and we will see what are the how classical theory what are the assumptions and what are the results how it matches with the experimental value and failure of classical theory okay so in classical theory there are some assumptions so what are the assumptions first assumption is we know from the lattice vibration crystal it consists of atoms at lattice points lattice points bonded by some kind of force binding force okay now in classical theory to assume that each atom vibrate independently of each other about their mean or equilibrium equilibrium about the equilibrium position so here it is assume that each atom vibrate independently about the equilibrium position and they are considered as three dimensional harmonic oscillator so here approximation is used that they are considered as three dimensional harmonic oscillator means this atom can vibrate in three independent directions if we take cartesian coordinate it may be x y z so each atoms are um, considered as a oscillator and they can vibrate in three directions so we consider three dimensional harmonic oscillator now this three dimensional harmonic oscillator if we have n number of atoms so there will be n harmonic oscillators harmonic oscillators oscillators with three degrees of freedom three degrees of freedom so here what is considered that instead of taking uh, n number of harmonic oscillator with three independent degrees of freedom here for simplification it is considered that this three dimensional harmonic oscillator of n atoms is considered as three n numbers of one dimensional harmonic oscillator so this we can do because each oscillator mode of vibration is taken as independent x direction vibration is taken as independent of y independent of z so each atom will have three independent mode of vibration if there is n atom total number of vibration will be obviously 3 n and we instead of taking a three dimensional atom we consider one dimensional harmonic oscillator harmonic oscillator so here we consider three n numbers of one dimensional harmonic oscillators which vibrate independently it by it vibrates okay so in when we have this so instead of taking three dimensional oscillator so you should remember this instead of taking three dimensional n number of oscillator we take three n numbers of one dimensional oscillator total degrees of freedom will be same here also n into 3 here also 3n into 1 so it will be 3n numbers of total number of degrees of freedom now further assumption is so further assumption is each harmonic oscillator Or, or all harmonic oscillator are assumed to vibrate at same frequency say omega 0 some fixed frequency omega 0 or at any particular frequency so all harmonic oscillator are assumed to vibrate at the same frequency okay and furthermore oscillator are allowed allowed to have any frequency or say energy on any frequency or energy ranging from 0 to infinity so oscillator can have any energy all values are allowed and continuous value are are allowed continuous energy spectrum so this is actually the classical concept continuous energy spectrum is classical concept okay so continuous energy spectrum 
and three n numbers of independent one dimensional harmonic oscillators as there is three independent directions and n numbers of atoms so okay this is the as a basic assumptions that we use in case of classical theory of specific heat now the energy of one dimensional energy e of one dimensional harmonic oscillator is given as p square by 2m plus some potential energy or we can write it p square by 2m plus half m omega 0 square x square we know this form of energy form expression so this is energy or you can say average energy of each of the one dimensional oscillator we have total three n numbers of oscillators so here also one more assumption is that is taken is maxwell boltzmann distribution law distribution law is used mb distribution law so classical statistics is the mb statistics so here mb distribution law is considered so this is also one of the assumption that we have not mentioned but you should remember this is also one of the assumptions that classical distribution law or maxwell boltzmann distribution law means what number at any particular temperature is proportional to e to the power minus e by kt this form so at any particular temperature the number is e to proportional to x e to the power minus e is the energy at that particular mode so some number proportional to e to the power minus e by kt a dhor an expression form je gulo thake shuru hoyeche mb distributions law okay so now average energy average energy will be given by epsilon to the power minus e by kt de by so zero to infinity all over all so, so e to the power minus e by kt d this you know this is the average energy of each average energy of each oscillator particular temperature t okay is given by this now you put these values you find this and here we will find it is half kt kt is boltzmann so many times we can write simply k so you should remember k and kb i will use interchangeably they are boltzmann constant okay now half kt this is for kinetic energy this is for potential energy this actually in case of simple harmonic oscillator average kinetic energy is equal to average potential energy so total energy average energy per oscillator is kt you should remember this is average energy per oscillator is kt okay now actually this is equipartition equipartition theorem of energy what is the equipartition theorem of energy according to equipartition theorem equipartition energy theorem equipartition energy theorem the energy is distributed equally equally among all degrees of freedom so for each oscillator you have kt so now I have three n oscillator, or indirectly you can say n oscillator with three degrees of freedom. So total degrees of freedom will be three n. So total energy, total energy will be three n kt. Okay. So three n kt, or we can write it three n into k. It is r molar gas con gas constant three r t. So now r has value. 8.3 joule per if you take in into si you know joule per kelvin per mole or if you take into cgs it is 2 calorie per kelvin per mole okay so you can write it mole or mole no problem so total energy 
will be 3 RT so what will be the specific heat at constant volume specific heat will be DQ DT or it will be DU DT at constant volume already we seen in earlier session you should again can re recheck that slides so this will be D DQ DT DU DT B so this will be simply here you see this is total energy U so this will be 3 R so 3 R it will be 25 Joule per Kelvin per mole if you take it into SI or it will be 6 calorie per Kelvin per mole so this is basically constant so here we find an expression for smaller specific heat or let is heat capacity at constant volume okay so per mole so it will obviously molar heat capacity or specific heat capacity at constant volume DDTB so here so this okay so this is an expression for molar specific heat at constant volume thus what we find according to classical theory of specific heat what we find that molar heat capacity is constant and independent of temperature and frequency of vibration of the oscillator frequency of the vibration of defined mode of vibration whatever you can take so it independent of temperature and frequency and heat capacity is constant and its value is 3R okay so this is called do long d u l o n g to long and petit's law that is it is a classical law you should remember this do long petit law is that do long petit's law is classical theory of specific heat of a solid which states that molar heat capacity or specific heat of a solid is constant independent of temperature and frequency and given as 3r okay so how it looks like so if we now plot rcb versus temperature okay so how it will look like suppose here we have 1r 2r 3r so it will be this constant so whatever temperature 0 kelvin you take 100 you take 200 you take 300 kelvin whatever temperature is take so this is dulong petit law okay dulong petit law so this achievement is it is uh, achievement it is valid validated or values for many solids experimentally verified for many solids metals also at high temperature and room temperature we say around 250 to 300 kelvin this is verified but what is the failure why it's failed it achievements is this and failure means it fails at lower temperature lower temperature it fails means it disagree with experimental values strongly disagrees with experimental values here it is seen that so why it fails now this is general part you should remember this this is how specific it varies with temperature so according to dulong petit law this is constraint so this is valid at high temperature suppose you take 300 kelvin 200 kelvin 100 kelvin like this so it is seen that specific heat is constant at high temperature and as temperature decreases the specific also decreases exponentially then it decreases and at much lower temperature it goes to zero okay so specific heat constant equal to 3r at high temperature okay as T decreases CB also decreases as T tends to 0 CB also tends to 0 so these two phenomena as T decreases CB decreases means temperature dependent specific heat is not explained by Dulong Petit law and also T tends to 0 as CB tends to 0 this is not explained so these are say experimental results so 
only it agrees at these are experimental car so this only acts at higher temperature so at lower temperature it fails so you should remember this so this is the classical theory of specific heat so this is dulong petit law very easy you use equipartition theorem the energy is distributed equally among all degrees of freedom you have total 3n degrees of freedom for one dimensional oscillator or you have n number of oscillator with 3 degrees of freedom in any way you have 3n degrees of freedom for each degree of freedom total energy is kt kinetic plus potential half kt half kt total is kt so 3n kt so 3r so it is constant so this is dulong petit law 